guys you're welcome thank you so much for clicking so we're going to be checking out an out of worship that makes allah extremely happy so let's watch the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam asked his companions a very good question how would you describe the joy and happiness of the following person someone who was traveling on a camel loaded with food and water but the destination was far away and the process was very rough. It was an open desert, empty, barren, no trees, no living wow. beings, no water, no well, very harsh conditions. Yeah. So while he was traveling, at one point he told himself, I will go under a tree and rest. While he was resting, what happened? He fell asleep. Mm -hmm. As he was sleeping, the camel with all the food and drink, somehow the reins, the rope got loosened up and it left the man, Allahu Akbar. Mm. Eventually, after some time, that man woke up. When he woke up, where's the camel? Mm. Right and left, back. Where's the camel? This is a dream? No, it's not a dream. The camel's where? So he got so scared. He panicked. He searched. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, this man, he went all the way to one direction, so far away, looking for the camel. Where is it? He did not find it. Went to a second direction, as far as he can, looking around, it. where's the camel? No camel. Went to a third direction, ah. searching for the camel, but he did not find anything. This man was so exhausted, sweating, Tired. thirsty, the heat of the sun. Oh, it was so Child. bad to the point he the exhausted all the up. means and all the energy mm. that he gave up. What do you mean he, he gave, gave up? up? He gave up on his life. He gave up on finding the camel and he told himself, I will go to the place I was at and sit until I die. That's oh. how bad the situation, that's how hopeless he was, brothers and sisters. Now remember the question, how happy he will be in the following situation. As he was sitting and he placed his head on his arm and while he was doing that, he dozed off and he slept. While he was sleeping, who came? The camel, Allahu Akbar. And look how it came. It came so close to him that the reins or the rope around the camel came next to his hand, Allahu Akbar. Then he opened up his eyes, he looked and he saw the camel, Allahu Akbar. He grabbed the reins of the camel and then he went and he said, Allahumma, oh Allah, you are my slave. Hold on, don't judge me. That was he, what he said. Yes, he said that. Oh Allah, you are my slave and I am your Lord. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, this man made a mistake for how happy he yeah. was. The Sahaba said, yes, we can definitely answer the question by saying this man was so happy, happy unlike any other situation in the world pretty much. So then, ready for this? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allahu Akbar, Allah is happier when his servant repents and mm. asks Allah's forgiveness more than that man who found his camel and belongings. Allahu wow. Akbar. So yes, repent to Allah because you fear Allah's punishment. Repent to Allah because you want to start a new page, but also repent to Allah so Allah can be happy. May Allah allow us to be of those whom Allah is happy with. May Allah forgive us all. Amin Rabbil Alameen. Wow. I love the fact that you used example to explain what makes Allah extremely happy. So it started with the story of a man that has a camel and no food, no water, you know, he was tired, he was thirsty, him, just him and the camel and all of a sudden the camel was nowhere to be found and he became so tired, he searched for it thoroughly. I know when you do something, you, you, you use your mind to do something, you get tired. He got frustrated, he just said that he gave up. You know, so he's just trying to tell us that no matter what we are going through, we should not give up. Because when we give up, it's like we don't trust in Allah, we don't trust in God. His journey all started with a test. He went through so, so many trials. You go into a place where there's no food, there's no water. If you can stay without food and water and without comfort, without anybody around, and now your camera is not where to be found, why don't you trust the same God that has kept you, as you know, make sure you are fine i've given you that strength to carry on why don't you trust in him so the man actually gave up that's what actually happens to so many of us so many of we humans we give up on god so easily but one thing i also love about him waiting even though he gave up and there was nothing he could do he just you know sat down and bowed down his head and along the line the camel came that is to say that even when you were tired, 
God does not give up on us. God will still make sure that He sends helper, He solves our situation, He brings solution to us. So, yes, the man was tired, he gave up, but that doesn't mean he, the camera was not in his mind. It's just that I think he was confused on how to go about it, what else to do, and the rest. But what this man is trying to explain from the story is that even after he got the camera, I think he should have given all the glory back to God for him seeing the camel. God should take all the glory because the camel didn't just come just like that. Something led the camel to you and it was through the help of Allah. So in that said, you know, God is extremely happy with people that repent and always give him all the glory to someone that believes is his right. Okay, what I've gotten is my right. There's nothing like is my right in this life. Anything God gives to you is true is grace god gave it to you because you deserve it he believes that you deserve it so it's by grace no matter the situation you find yourself just put it in the hands of god let god be in charge and when god is in charge and god sorts it out for you return all the glory to him whether it's the time you expected it or the time you did not expect it to come just give him all the glory and that was a beautiful one so that is the act of worship that makes allah extremely happy let me know your point of view regarding this video let's keep the discussion going thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye